Hi Aquarius, it's Gwen and I'm here to do an intuitive reading for your sign. So I'm using um, different forms of divination to provide your heart with a message it needs to hear today. This is a timeless reading. So I trust it's going to reach those Aquarius hearts that needs to in divine timing. Thank you to my Aquarius tribe for all the support that you give to the channel. Thank you for the tips and good karma donations. Thank you for reaching out. For personal private readings and um, if you need one just message me i'm booking those uh, thanks for hitting that like thanks for commenting that helps me tune in with your energy more so the readings will start resonating more my goal is to go live to interact with you all i love you guys aquarius what does aquarius need to hear i've already drawn some cards some cards some symbols some we're going to do bones I got all kinds of tricks up my sleeve in this one. <laughs> I've I've told myself for years it doesn't matter like what I use. I can intuitively like see a message. <laughs> Whoop! Sound effects. Yeah, sound effects. Dog energy. Loyalty. Unconditional love of stall. Dog energy. Okay. So let's let's get started here. What are the numbers that I need to see for Aquarius? Aquarius, my loves. This is a side of flame cards, okay? It's called Cardomancy, reading the playing cards. Okay. Well, it just gave me three right away. Yes, it did. Ten of ten of wands, ten of clubs on the bottom of the deck. Telling me you you're Want to start over might be overburdened emotionally doing a lot being a lot trying to live up to other people's expectations that's this a lot of passion you have 10 though is the beginning an ending and a beginning where balance is going to come into your life balance in regards to finances balance in regards to giving giving and receiving kind of energy Six of diamonds, six of pentacles. There's two of cups here after some sort of pain. Okay. This is the pain, the three swords. This is the two cups, the two hearts. Choices, relationships, a connection that feels good. After some sort of pain. And a message here. This is a jack. This is a page of wands. There's a lot of passion here in this message. I see one, two, three here. I see ten, one, two, three. I see ten, ten, one, two, three. Ten, ten is, yeah, multiple new beginnings. Angels with you when it comes out in my readings, okay? Think of a yes or no question, too. And at the end of the reading, I'm going to give you my answers from my gypsy deck. Two answers already came out. But if you want to think of that question now, I will not forget they're right here in front of me. Whoop. I drew you a postcard for this reading today, Aquarius. And it's a beautiful sunset scene. Maybe it's time for you to rest, tune in with like this is a lake that is very still, very peaceful kind of energy, okay? There's something with that here. Be still, be patient. Uh, this is called Smith Mountain Lake and it's a postcard from Virginia. So that may resonate too, but like the sun is super important. The reflection of the sun on this still water. So there's clarity coming through a lot of reflection. Um, new beginnings abound. Uh, maybe it's a time to travel, get away, tune into the stillness here. The, of this beautiful scene. Yeah. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. Is there anything on that? It's a blank postcard. So that's also saying, you know, you, you're writing your story here. It's blank. It's a blank card. It's a blank slate. 
some of my postcards in my, like I save postcards and I add them into my reading. Some of them are cards that I've received. Some of them are ones that I picked out myself in my travels. I don't even remember. I didn't visit this place. See, that's the thing here. Like, I was so close to this beautiful spot and I didn't go visit it. I was in such a hurry to get on my way, my travels or whatever. But I did pick this up in a little general store there. I didn't get to go see that. I was with somebody that I really loved, too. We could have stopped and seen this, but we didn't. Make the time. Aquarius. All right. Make the time for stillness. Make the time now for new beginnings. Make the time to go to these beautiful spots. And the moments of happiness the, and memories that you're creating is what's important. Thank you, Spirit, for making, like, I'm going back to my own memory of that. And, like, that's a, sh I, I'm, I'm saying to myself, that's a shame. That's a shame. But, I, you know, I do remember what the trip was all about and who I was traveling with. And, you know, glad that I have that postcard from Virginia. This person was from Virginia. So, yeah. So it now is also coming through as somebody passed over. That's coming through in this reading. Did they paint sunsets? Were they a photographer? Did it, you know, is this Virginia place? Is it the name Smith? It's one of these things here. And you'll know. Okay. Um, I used my liminal spirits deck and asked spirit, what are you unaware of? Because the liminal spirits are the ones that we don't necessarily see and help us like those nuances and subtleties and energies like that, that help us through transition zones. So I wanted to know what you were unaware of. And uh, when I shuffled, these flew out on top of my phone. So there is some sort of secret love affair, secret <laughs> admirer watching you, Aquari Aquarius. <laughs> I always feel like somebody's watching me. And I got no privacy. That's this one. Mugwort. Mugwort is about to protect yourself, protect your energy. And Mandrake is used in love spells, by the way. Sympathetic magic, love spells. Okay. This is also about loves in the air. Do, 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 do. You feeling good? You a new, brand new you. Confident, yellow energy, solar plexus healing. Put your love out into the world, you cutie patoot. But also be mindful. You know, when you shining like this. You little cute root, you little Groot. Look at you, look at you, how cute you are. Yeah, yeah of course you got people watching. Mm -hmm. Mugwort also is used for protection. It's an herb, like uh, you can use as instead of sage. It also helps to open up the third eye. So your dream state could be very vivid right now, Aquarius. Even more so than normal people um, use it maybe like in a little sachet underneath their pillow during lucid dreaming or dream state to enhance those dreams. When I tune into my artwork sometimes because I'm an intuitive creative, I'll use mugwort, it opens up the third eye. You can drink it in a tea. Also, be very careful with it. It is a very highly powerful herb. Yes, right? Right. Thank you, darlings, for that um, little... <laughs> yeah, I love mugwort. And now we got cat energy out here. So this cat is very playful. There's somebody out here watching you that's very playful, wants to play with you. Cat's about being independent. Do what you fucking want to do and the world will adjust. Look at these cat eyes. I mean, there's just so much tenderness and so much love and it's a white cat. You see the here, the here, the heart here. It's got an evergreen, my ever love, my evergreen love or whatever, like... A forest of love, love here, unconditional love. Mm, so sweet. Cat energy, playful energy. The mandrake feels playful as well. Mm -hmm. All right. What are you unaware of, I said? Don't be trying to be putting a love spell on you. <laughs> Somebody about ready to pounce? Okay, and from your guides today, I got a message for you. Like attracts like. So maybe you're being really playful. Maybe you feel reborn. You're, going, you're attracting that energy in. 
Are you being secretive about something? Because now you're attracted, attracting secretive energy. Like attracts like. Become what you want to attract. Basic law of attraction. They're taking you back to the basics. What are you constantly thinking about? You're creating it. So this is the energy that you're putting out there. Your heart's attracting that same energy back in. Are you putting out there envy, jealousy, greed? What do you, you know, you're attracting that back in. You get what you give. Like attracts like. Okay. Now from the literary witch's oracle. I rarely use this deck anymore. But they definitely wanted me to use this for symbols and signs. And there's authors here that were considered witches as well. And they have messages here. And there's some trickery afoot. Something's going on, y'all. So what are you unaware of too? And you have this mugwort here. And this secret thing here. And this love here. And Agatha Christie's here. That means there's some mystery and trickery. I mean, look at the card. God, I used to remember reading Agatha, Agatha Christie novels. But yeah. Oh, yeah. There's tablecloth. The tablecloth. The wallpaper. It's, there's a cover-up. There's something being covered up. There's a noose on the table. Never a great sign. Never a great sign. A knife stabbed into a stake, and the stake is bleeding. That's a sign of conflict. Somebody... Feels there's some sort of betrayal here, some sort of cover up here, some sort of something hidden here. The tacky wallpaper, tackiness here. And look at the clock. Look at the clock. Don't miss a Don't miss a D. I don't miss a thing. It ends at 10 o'clock. There's the missing digits here. Pay attention. Pay attention. This trickery foot. Whatever that means in your situation. Somebody is, the next card out is Faru Farakaz. I don't, I'm just butchering the name, but this is about building walls to keep people out. But look at this wall. I mean, seriously. Card's called Rebellion. It's time for you to break out of this little wall that you built around yourself. She's dressed all in white. It looks like a very nursing, nurturing energy. The outfit here and holding a black bird. Rebellion. Trickery. Just trying to keep you, trying to keep the peace is the way I feel. Just trying to keep the peace. Here, this, while there's all this chaos going on around, you've built this little wall. Maybe you've, you stay in a lot. I, I don't know. It's time for you to go in. She's all wearing all white. Take care of yourself. And like with holding that black bird, like there's some shadow work here as well that wants to come out in this intuitive reading. Why do you fear rebelling? You see the trickery. It's pretty evident here. There's a black cat here. Look at this scaredy cat. Somebody's scared. Black cat, black bird. Something's about to be lit up. The lantern is here. Light up the darkness. Somebody is a lantern. Maybe you are that lantern. Maybe you're here breaking generational things. You know, speaking the truth about why you've always felt the need to protect yourself. What's the cover up about? What's the... There's some missing information. Things that don't add up. You are lying energy. Second time now. Third how many times is cat energy going to come out here? Collectively, Aquarius, we are moving from dog energy to cat energy. And I'm telling you what, it got, I feel like this is more like the forest cat. The magic that's happening in the mysterious forest that we don't see. Don't be afraid of your own independence, of your own love here. You are a motherfucking lion. Leo energy coming into your reading. 
Mm. Powerful lion. The lion is symbolic here for somebody. They need to see that lion. The lion here being courageous. Instead of separate, there's some sort of rebellion here, like growth here. Because um, I see the progression of the lion, of the cat, too. The evolution of the cat here, gaining their courage. The cowardly lion in the Wizard of Oz. Where am I going next? I'm so, that, that drew me in so deep, bones. Wow, drew me in so deep. My third eye is so throbbing right now. Like what, like what? Somebody's connecting with this hardcore. I love you so much, love you so much. Pull back your energy a bit. <laughs> any negative energy being sent this way, any evil eye sent to my Aquarius tribe or myself, send right back to the owner. Kapow, yep. We are divinely protected. Me and my tribe are highly favored. We, we have the right to draw a sacred circle around this space. Oh, I love you, Spirit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, Angel. Thank you. What does Aquarius need to hear? This is a bone throw. This is a charm bag. It's got bones and charms, special trinkets I've, cre I've collected over the years. This is an ancient form of divination as well. Throwing bones. I remember doing it in past lives, and I like to do it for my tribe, too. So, Aquarius, my loves. Aquarius, my loves. Let's just shake it out, that energy, too, that I was, like, drawing so much in my third eye energy. So, somebody might be doing that to you as well. Shake it out. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Sound healing is super important for you as well. Clear the energy with bells, chimes, that kind of thing. Rattles, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, pull out the rotten tooth. Deer tooth, deer medicine here. Tooth that came out of a fawn mouth. So, feminine... On. No, this is baby tooth. The baby tooth. This is about words that we speak about ourselves and others. The the words that can be vicious or hurtful or whatever. Dear medicine is speak kindly about you. Be kindness. Be compassion. Right? And pull out what is rotten. This looks like a rotten tooth. And if we leave a rotten tooth in, it can create more rottenness around. Right? So like mindful of that, of who your tribe is, who you surround yourself with. The words that you speak create, okay? There's a lot of turtle bone energy here. You are at a crossroads in your life. And you are in, in need of hugs and affection. Maybe time to love yourself a little bit more. The turtle bones here. A connection that's also coming together. There's a lot of love here. There's a lot of depth of emotion here when the turtle comes out. Home is where the heart is. Lessons being learned and having to move really slowly um, through this crossroads. You are protected. Okay. You got the shield here. The turtle bone shield it has a channel on the back of it. So it tells me you can channel spirit. And also sometimes it's necessary just to float the channel that is being opened. Everything's going to flow smoothly through this, through this crossroads, you are protected. You've been protecting your emotional body, protecting your heart. When I have the shield come out as well. And like, there's a need for you to love your inner child. There's two symbols here with turtle bones that are about loving yourself and loving your inner child or the children in your life. Hugs, hugs and love here. Lots of hugs, hugs, babies, hugs. You've learned some sort of wisdom here, some sort of truth, the blue here, all right? This is the acorn, and it's about luck and fertility, okay? Use your wisdom now, my loves, your intuitive knowing. They gave you five bones today, so that's about a transformation that's happening um, in your life. And, um, yeah, I 
think I'm going to leave it there. Is there anything else, Spirit, that we want to get today? No, I went through everything. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this intuitive reading. Yeah, 1955 on the clock. That might be another number here. And I kept seeing one, two, three on this too. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. That's progression in your journey. Celebrate that. I love you, Aquarius. And maybe you feel a little spacey. I'm going to have to t attach the back this video onto the back there because I forgot to give you your answers to your yes or no questions. <laughs> And they were sitting right here, and I even said, so I don't forget, and I forgot. So don't even put that, so I don't do this. Like, don't put that out into the universe, okay? Does that click there? I'm going to get my answers. Not, I'm going to, I'm going to put them right here so I don't forget. Well, don't put the forget out there. Just, 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 I'm going to remember. And if not, guess what? Look, I can do this. I can do all things. I can make this work. So what are the questions? Yeah, answers. It's feasible and it's conceivable. It's possible, like what I just did there, too. Okay? Wow, that's a double confirmation of the same, pretty much same thing. There are all kinds of answers in this gypsy deck. Whatever you create in your mind, it's created. You, It's feasible. It's conceivable. Do you believe that now? I mean, come on, lion. I love you.